What's up guys? Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to jailbreak your iPhone or iPod Touch. Let's get started. Alright, hey guys. For this jailbreak, it is for firmware 4.3.1. You can check that in your settings and about on your on your iDevices. It is an untethered jailbreak, which means you can turn your, you turn your iDevice off completely and it will not destroy your jailbreak. Um, this jailbreak is for your iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, iPod Touch 4th generation, and 3rd generation. Please do not jailbreak with this if you're not one of the, on that list. It will mess stuff up. Um, the software that I use is called Red Snow. Um, now, for the jailbreaking, as usual, has pros and cons. The pros are that it is legal now, um, it allows you to gain third-party apps that you wouldn't get through the app store normally, and allows for greater customization of your home screen and lock screen and other stuff. The cons are that it may make your iDevice run slower over time, and it does take you out of the iTunes protective ecosystem, which means you're more open to viruses. And if you do not like your jailbreak, you will have to restore your iDevice through iTunes to get rid of it, um, which means you will just have a bare bones iPod Touch brand new factory settings. Now there are a few things I want you guys to download for me today. Um, one is the IPSW firmware, and you can get this at felixburns.de slash iPod slash firmware. Don't worry, this will be in the description box below. And once you go to this website, you will go to something that looks like this. You'll need to go down to this tab and find your correct technology, iPod Touch 4th generation, iPod Touch 3G 4.3.1. Please make sure the firmware is correct. Then iPhone 4 is up here and iPhone 3G is up here. You will hit the download button after you select the right one. The download will take a while. Um, it is a big download, so stay, so hang in there. Um, now, if you're a Mac user, you will have to go to this website to download Red Snow. It will not take you to a separate website. It will just download directly into your download box. And if you're a Windows user, you go to this website, and it will just do the same thing. Now, please... Please connect your iDevice into iTunes, um, sync it up, and yeah. Now let's begin. Open Red Snow. Um, welcome to Red Snow. Basically what this is saying, you need to find your IPSW your, or your current firmware. And that's what I told you guys to download at Felix Burns. And so I'm going to browse. Going to look for it. Here's mine gonna open it. It's gonna process firmware. This may take a while, it may be really short. Ah, IPSW successfully identified. And if you guys if you guys are lost in any of these steps, feel free just to pause this video at any time. Alright, so you can hit next. It's gonna process the kernel. All the stuff. Alright, so here's the thing. Install Cydia you 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 want to do for this jailbreak. It's the main. It's like the app store for third-party apps in the jailbreak system. Um, so I leave it as just install Cydia. It's very clean, very simple. Now here you're gonna you're gonna have to put it into DFU mode. Now follow these instructions. Basically, you're gonna hold down the power button. Hold down the power button and the power button for seven seconds. And for and then you're gonna hold for two more seconds after the screen goes blank. Um, then you're gonna release the power button and hold down the power button for ten more seconds. Your iTunes should pop up for your iPod saying it is DFU mode or some sort of signal like that. All right, ready? Let's put into DFU mode on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now that you have done in DFU mode, you should you can skip through these next steps and you'll get right to it. So there now you just switch right to it. So it should be pat should be Importing and waiting for the reboot. Uh, see now it's jailbreaking the jailbreak data. You guys see that? And this is normal, all the code and stuff, it is part of the 
Jailbreak. And so you are done. Just letting it thing just let the iPod touch do its thing. I want to hit finish. And it should be good. Now after these lines of code, you should see a pineapple running. There it is. Now in this video it seems sort of quick, but in real life it should take a couple of minutes. I did speed this up in the video because I don't want you guys sitting here waiting wasting your time. And so after it's moving the application, which does take a while, it should move on to something else, installing bundles, there it is. Now once this is done, it will restart. Don't freak out. Um, it will go through the restart reboot process. Um, I will speed this up in the video, so don't worry if, if your reboot takes longer than this. All right, it looks like it should be done right about now. The reboot, and it should just come up like a regular lock screen, there it is. Um, so once you have success successfully jailbroken your device, this application called Cydia will appear on the next closest icon space. There it is. Um, in the later in later videos, I will show you what to do in Cydia, what apps to get, what customizations you can get. So see you guys in the next video. That's all for me. Thanks for watching.